Hey guys, this is Paul from Hi-Fi Man. When your car is Mercedes-Benz NTG 5.0 and the radio head unit is Panasonic, in that case, it have a problem. When you play the video, the sound delay the pictures about two or three seconds. In that case, you need to install the DSP mode here. This DSP is just for the car without optical fiber amplifier. When the car have optical fiber amplifier, that is another DSP. Okay. Now, let me show you the details for connection and the settings. This is the power connector for the DSP, right? This original uh, OEM connector connect to this one. This one connect to the DSP mode. Okay, and this side connect to this one to the power cable from Android screen here. Like this. Okay, and this big power uh, connect to the head unit. Okay, now the Android screen. This big power connect to the back of the unit. And then this USB here. USB cable, it have a video connection. Uh, this is the video connection. So we also need to connect it. And then here. This is the video connector from the head unit, uh, original video connector. Connect to the Android video connection. Okay. And this one is the cable for DSP, right? We need to connect here. The DIP don't change it. We have set four to on here. Don't change it. And in this cable, uh, we just find the two cables. The first one is the here yeah, SPK CTL blue color here. This one. And the other one is this one, red color. It have a label ACC in here. Just connect these two cables only. Don't connect other cables here. Okay? Where to connect it? This is the point. Here you can see in the power cable for Android screen. Here. It have a cable DVR IR connect to this blue color one. Here. You can see SPK CTL connect to DVR IR cable. Uh, this is the brown color. This is the blue color. Uh, connect together. This cable uh, here. As I mentioned, connect to the DVR power. Uh, this one. DVR power. Here. Uh, you need to cut this uh, cable. Uh, cut this cable. Uh, this connector don't match the cable. But it doesn't matter. Just cut it and connect to this. For now, I don't cut it. Uh, I just connect uh, cable. That way, we just have a test in the office now. And then I just connect this.
is fine. Another cable you need to make sure to connect it. Here, uh, in this harness, right, it have a connector. Uh, I use in yeah, this connector from the DSP cable here. Connect to the IUS out, uh, audio out. This cable from the power cable here of the Android screen, uh, it have a cable like this, uh, audio out. You can see, connect together. Okay. Uh, uh, now, the wire connection just like this. Okay, now we have power on the unit uh, here. Uh, when power on, you can see here, there's a light inside the DSP that is on here. So we just go to the setting, uh, factory setting, factory. We need to change the amplify selection. Here you can see amplify selection. We need to change to aftermarket amplify. Choose aftermarket amplify. And we can take a look at the settings. Uh, the medium uh, I just set to 6 because that's too loud when I set to higher uh, levels. Uh, you can hear? I can increase the sound. Uh, yeah. It's just like this. Yeah. That's very nice, uh, very nice south effect. When you have installed the DSP mode, you don't need to install this kit. The sound go through DSP, not USB. Okay, thank you for watching. If you want to learn more information, you can go to our website here about blog this article talking about more information about the DSP normally when you order the Mercedes 5.0 Android screen we will ask these questions for you